Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. My um, my Hulk, a wise clown. Yoga. Different spellings, different regions. Anyway, I just like to uh, collect data on things that I've noticed, stories that I've come across, that have happened in history and are kind of congruent to what's going on today. I don't know why people spend so much effort making things up because real life is pretty freaking remarkable. Yeah. Story. If you get to learn, if the longer that that you you get to live, every day you wake up, you get to see your history just gets longer and it's like a big puzzle that gets put together that we create for ourselves. It's very, very interesting. I like finding other people that see things like me. It's hard to find. They're very, very few and far between. They dip onto my radar every now and again, make my acquaintance, and then dip out. Um, part of my stories that I tell here took me a long time to get to like me. I mean, it was I, I always liked me, um, for the most part, but there are other parts of, there are aspects of me that society said were unlikable, so it took me a long time to determine that those characteristics in me <laughs> were their problem, not mine, and that I am very, in, fa in fact, very likable, because I'm kind, and I'm loving, and I'm generous, and I'm all these characteristics that people say they want to know in people. They just don't want to know me. It's so weird how people perceive me. I perceive people based on, you know, and I just answered my own question. We give us our own map legend. So I guess maybe I remind them someone of who, <clears throat> who they didn't like or they had a bad exchange with. Maybe they had a bad exchange with me previously. What I'd like people to know is that we're just all different aspects of the same incarnation. I am you, and you are me. So after I it came to turn, you know, I mean, it's not like, you know, I hated myself because I was gay. I knew I was gay from freaking 1977. I mean, like, I knew I women were pretty, and I didn't like men. I didn't think they were pretty, and they're not soft, and they're not... Hell, I saw a lot of guys that were just fucking assholes that freaking abuse women and just would rather drink and, well, <laughs> they still exist today. But they're the ones that are married with families. It's weird. I can't get a date. <laughs> I'm really picky, though, to be fair. It's like the older you get, you're less willing to put up with shit, dude. It's just nah. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'll pass. Nah. You just get tired, you know? <laughs> when you do have your burst of energy, you want to use them on good things, you know? Not trying to pretend to be somebody I'm not. That's what it seems what all people are dating. I don't even want to bother. I don't want to know some facade of some but in, of idea of a person that you want to be and then find out in three months that the reality of who you are, I'd rather know the reality of, you know? I get crabby. I don't want to talk. Sometimes, you know, I want people to just understand what I'm saying, and it frustrates me when they don't. But I don't get to get mad at other people and take it out on them. See, that's the thing. There's a whole lot of people that don't understand what's happening in the world, and rather than taking time to find out and seek themselves, you know, to go within and find out what's going on, because all that's going on is how they see things. So why do you see things the way you see things? Is everything all doom and gloom, you know? No bad shit happens, but I ain't waiting for it to happen around every corner, you know? <laughs> there ain't no way to live. You gotta live free. And if fucking stuff comes up, handle it when it comes up, you know? <clears throat> for a long time I was like, yeah, I'm pretty cool. I'm 
a pretty decent person, you know. People are like, well, you can't love any. Nobody's gonna love you until you love yourself. And I'm like, so I kept doing all these things, reading, reading self-help books since I was, I don't know, junior high, high school. Freaking Gary Zukoff. I saw his freaking first interview with Oprah. I think I was 13. You know, I've all known my seeds, of my soul, and all that. I. You know, the first, I've always been sought for things. I hung out with kids that, we did stuff in the Church of Religious Science, and, you know, spent time with nature, and I believe in energy and quantum things and stuff like that. I believe in natural things. I never played, it was like, you know, I always had a buddy or two in the neighborhood, just people you kind of palled around with, you know, because you live by, and it's just sometimes it's fun to play with the other people until it's not. I just soon play by myself. Because people are always changing the fucking rules, man, based on their mood. I didn't know that's how it was supposed to be done, you know? And when people, like, are uncomfortable and they're hurting and in pain, they're freaking just mean. It has nothing to do with you or me. They're just me. I know from experience. I had an ingrown toenail for like three weeks. That thing was uncomfortable. And it was freaking, and I was crabby. But I can't be crabby at other people because of my discomfort. You get what I mean? When I quit smoking, I couldn't be crabby and say, I mean, I could have. Oh, I'm quitting smoking. There's a justification for me being an asshole. No. It was my choice to smoke cigarettes. It was my choice to not smoke cigarettes. I don't get to be crabby to people. I do get crabby with people, though, sometimes. When people are freaking low vibrational dickheads, oh, fuck yeah, I get crabby. I get crabby, 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 crabberton. I digress. I do. I'm human. We're all just trying to get by. But there are things that I learned to do, like, I always, as long as I can remember, mom had a doctor, told her, I think it was probably Dr. Chambers, actually, when I was, she had a doctor tell me, because I used to throw tantrums, they didn't know what autism was when I was a freaking kid, I was freaking, have freaking energetic meltdowns, that's what they are, just, your body gets so consumed with energy, emotion, vibration, frequency, that you're just, you go to a different place. Do it with, people do it in like traumatic instances. Like, you freaking, you're, you will just fucking vacate for a minute. Just step out, you know? People do it, car accident happens all the time. People do it. It's this phenomenon that exists that has been taboo for years and years. But now people are freely sharing and speaking easy. So throw these t tantrums and they and he told her just put run cold water on the back of my neck put cold water on the back of my neck and it just freaking it because it <sighs> shifts your gears it gives you something it breaks the vibration that is in your in your in your body that's like when people are like freaking out, like on old TV shows, when people would be freaking out, you'd smack them to get them to come back and realize, well, you can't put your hands on people. You can't take some, you know, you can't put your hands on people, but it's the same thing if you put cold water on the back of the neck, it just shifts gears, you know. I, I clap my hands, like when my dogs get locked in, that they're not seeing eye to eye on a particular instance matter. I clap my hands just to get them to, you know, pay attention to me and separate them, you know. We're all just trying to get by. There's tricks to the trade. <laughs> I'm good at operational. You know, Mom asked me that the other day. That was pretty cool. She asked, she was like, were you ever working in the medical field? When we watch Grey's Anatomy, she asked me that about every time. <clears throat> um, I'm like, no, I don't really want to. But I, I have a lot of really great ideas with occupational therapy with, with, with people with memory issues and... <laughs> Um, my own included, not that I have bad memory, it's just like, you know, there's sometimes you gotta focus and, and only do one thing. Like, when I cook, I just cook. I'm not cooking and cleaning and, you know, do, I'm not doing other things, I'm only cooking. And 
it's an operational OPSEC. And, um, oh, if you want to know the difference between a good guy and a bad guy, you don't get to take somebody's essence. Yeah, you know, I mean, we know, obvious what, what an evil person is, you know, the raper, the pillager, the abuser, you know, but just somebody that just takes somebody's essence. If you haven't seen The Dark Crystal, I think it's interesting. I get this. I don't know if there's really a second one out or not. I haven't really seen anything to verify it, but I haven't really tried either. But the first one, it's it's what makes somebody joyful. That kidness, that, that your inner kid, anybody that's going to be mean to that inner kid, you don't even want to know him. You know? And if your inner kid is wily and funny and freaking clever and smart and brilliant and and and, and cool and, and all those wonderful things that you are then it won't be as lonely when you when you strip away those people that aren't good for you you know I hung out with a lot of people in my life that made fun of me and that just weren't really good to me I've hung out with a lot of people that were good to me too don't be I've had a lot I freaking it sustains me the wonderful times I've had with my friends, I'm just, I'm ready to have some more. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to, uh, get this party started. Hope you have a rad day. Found something out of that. Peace.